Hi everyone, in today's video I'm gonna create a serverless Python project. For this video I'm gonna use serverless framework AWS Lambda function DynamoDB and AWS API Gateway to map the HTTP request to our Lambda function. If you don't know serverless framework, you can watch my video explaining how to install and use it. We're gonna create a Python to-do list script and I'm gonna leave this project's link on the description so you can check the code later. So in the readme file, you're gonna find all the information about the project, all the prerequisites, dependencies, how to install it, project structure, how to deploy the service and what are the endpoints to manage your crude API. So let's open this project in the VS code. First of all, I'm gonna create a virtual environment for this Python project. So Python tree minus M venv and I'm gonna call the virtual environment venv as well. I'm gonna hit the enter button and okay it's created and now I'm gonna activate my virtual environment. Now let's install a Python library called Bottle Tree, which is a, an AWS SDK to integrate with DynamoDB. So pip install Bottle Tree. Now let's install another dependency, which is going to be serverless in order to deploy our code later. So I'm gonna install serverless framework npm install serverless I'm gonna hit the enter button okay it's done so as I said I'm using serverless framework to deploy our infrastructure and our lambda functions and I'm using the serverless YAML file to specify all the informations that serverless framework needs to know in order to deploy our project and if you want to know more about serverless framework you can check my previous video about serverless framework and i show how to use serverless framework to deploy an application so what i'm gonna do now is create a file to put our functions inside so i'm gonna create a new directory called src slash handler dot pi and i'm gonna import a few dependencies here in the top of my file so i'm gonna import json i'm gonna import also bottle tree and from uuid i'm gonna import uuid4 and from bottle tree dot dynamodb.conditions I'm gonna import key and that's it for our imports and now I'm gonna create a variable called dynamodb which is going to receive bottle 3 resource dynamodb so I'm specifying that I want to use from bottle three dynamo resources so now i'm gonna create another variable called table which is going to receive dynamo db dot table oh and i'm gonna use uh, an environment variable so i need to import os to access this environment variable and I'm gonna say OS environ and I'm gonna specify here my variable which I'm setting here in the serverless file so dynamo table my tables name and that's it now what i'm gonna do is create our first function to handle our api requests and the first one is going to be create to do and for this function it takes as parameters event 
and context. I'm gonna create a new variable here, which is going to receive our event body. So JSON loads event body. And now I'm gonna curate a to-do ID, which is going to be our new to-do ID, which is going to be a string of UUID4. And now I'm gonna create our item payload, which is going to have our ID, to-do ID, our task, which is data task, and our boolean value to say if the task is completed or not. So completed, which is going to be data task. Now what I'm going to do is call our table and execute a function called put item to add this new to do item. So put item and is going to receive item equals item. So I'm inserting this new record now and I'm gonna create a response for our function, which is going to receive a status code 201 and our body is going to be JSON dumps our new item and now I'm gonna just return our response perfect for the next one I'm gonna curate a get to do function which is going to receive event and context as parameters and I'm gonna get from the path parameter our to do ID. So to do ID is going to receive event path parameters. And I'm going to get ID. Now what I'm going to do is create a result variable to receive our table get item result. So table get item and I'm gonna filter by our key condition ID from to do ID. Now I'm gonna check if is there some item in result. And for this condition, I'm gonna create a response saying status code 200 in case of success and our body is going to be json dumps result item and else i'm going to create another response for status code 404 which means that we didn't find this record by this ID. So I'm gonna say body JSON dumps. I'm gonna specify an error saying to do item not found. And for the last, I'm gonna return our response according to this conditional perfect now what i'm gonna do is create our update to do function which is going to receive events and context and i'm gonna get from the path parameters our id and also for update we are receiving a body so I'm gonna create a variable called result which is going to receive our table update item function result 
and I'm gonna specify a few parameters here. The first one is key, which is going to receive our ID from path parameters. The next one is going to be update expression, which is going to be a set task equals t and completed equals c. Now I'm going to specify the value of t and c. So I'm going to say expression attribute values, which is going to be a dictionary of t which is data task and c which is data completed just a common here common here and for the last one i'm going to specify my return values which I want to return the updated new information. Now I'm going to specify my response, which is going to be status code 200, and our body is going to be JSON dumps result attributes. and I'm gonna return the response. That's great, now I'm gonna define my last function, which is delete to do. Receive an event in context, and I'm gonna get our ID from path parameters, and I'm gonna use table delete item function, specifying our key condition which is by our id to do id and i'm gonna return a response as well so response status code 204 and that's it and return response okay so now i'm gonna deploy this function so serverless deploy it might take some time when i hit this command it's going to read all the serverless framework information here and i'm also specifying my functions by the name and the http path so let's wait it finish okay it has finished and as you can see we have got as output our endpoints so let's use them to test our new functions i'm gonna cop this post and i'm gonna use postman to test it and i'm gonna define our post verb and our body is going to be raw json so I'm gonna define our task, which is going to be something like study Python, and I'm gonna hit the send button, and we've got success, 201 created, let's copy our ID, um, sorry, I think we have made some mistake and we and we have got as completed study python so let's change it in our curate to do okay is going to be always false completed false when we are creating a new to do so let's redeploy it okay it has finished so let's create another one so we study 
serverless framework let's hit the enter button and we've got success again and uh, now we've completed false so let's copy this id and let's test our get endpoint so i'm gonna define our url slash id so it should return our to do item and we've got success here now i'm gonna test our update function so let's define the verb but copy and paste our url with our to do id and i'm gonna reuse our body so body raw json update to see the change and let's now let's say completed now true i'm gonna hit the send button and yep we've got success here let's test our get again and we've got our update here so for the last endpoint let's test the delete i just have to pass our url with our to do id let's execute and we've got 204 no content success if i try get the item again it's saying it's returning 404 not found and our error message to do item not found all right so it's working and if you want to check you can see the aws services here with our four endpoints our four functions and we also have here in dynamo our table to-do list api table and you can explore the items here so that's it for this video guys i hope it was useful and i'll see you